So what I wanna do is just open this up, brighten that up a little bit, add a little bit of movement, a little bit of height. When I look at hair uh, or my client's bone structure on their face, right here, right at the cheekbone, I can't keep my fingers level there, uh, right here on the cheekbone, um, this is kind of where I want that height to build up. So I want to open it up and I want to pull up some of that height there. That's what I love about a curtain fringe because it kind of does that for me. Um, so it builds that volume and it's easy for my guests to recreate that uh, when they go home and they have to do their hair themselves. So, so what I want to do is I want to follow this hairline up. I'm using a wide tooth comb at this point because I don't like to pull on the hair too much and I don't need a lot of tension when I cut dry hair. So I go up from this point up to create the first line in this triangle section that I'm gonna be creating in the hair. I'll twist that, just lightly twist it, and I'm gonna slide a clip up underneath just to hold it out of the way. So we're following the hairline up through to this top point of the head, right where the head starts to curve from that fringe area. I've got my two triangles. So it comes from this point here, all the way down the hairline. You just follow the hairline down, then you split it with the middle part, and then you get your two triangles in the haircut. I'm gonna take out the left-hand side section because we're gonna do this cut in two sections. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling this hair not to the center bridge of the nose. I wanna pull it past to the other eyebrow, to the edge of the other eyebrow. That's where I'm going to cut it. Let me break this down just a little bit. The guide is the edge of the eyebrow. A lot of times we take guides from other pieces of hair, but for me to keep balance on the face, I use the face as a guide on each side. So the edge of the eyebrow on both sides of the head is where I brought each section to. My fingers are gonna be parallel to the wall. I'm holding the hair out and my fingers will be parallel to the wall and I'm over directing it over to the other eyebrow. What is that doing? That's creating over direction. What over direction does is it removes, when you over direct, you cut the hair here, but it pulls hair from further away. So this hair that's sitting right here on the hairline is gonna be the longest point. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna be shortest up here, going to a longer point, which will create that kind of open curtain fringe look right here in front of me. And then I'll start cutting. Notice the over direction. And when I let this go, it's going to create, see that already? That kick, a little bit of layering in there so it makes it nice and light, but it kicks open off of the face. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So see how I'm bringing it over, right above the eyebrow over here. And then go through and point cut. You can see that curtain fringe start to open up. Now I can decide, is it light enough? Is it, does it still feel a little bit heavy? If it felt a little bit heavy, I can always take into some of this fringe and just do a little bit deeper point cutting into it to soften it up. This is for definitely thick to medium, perfect technique. Fine hair, still good, but it might be a little bit light, a little more layered feeling. So what I would do is instead of keeping it parallel to the wall, I'd go more parallel to the floor, but bring that hair to the edge of the eyebrow still. Just it'll give you a little bit more density. The higher you lift the hair, the more layered it gets, the more weight is removed. The lower you hold the hair, the more weight you build up.